Hi, everybody. Okay, so we have now talked about all the vocabulary of organization, right? We've got organisms and populations, uh, community and ecosystem, uh, biome and biosphere, a couple of other vocabulary words that we also talked about. Today, we're going to turn our attention to ecosystems. Now, ecosystems are self-sustaining. They can continue for um, decades, millennia, for years and years and years. They can continue with stability and uh, um, the, you know, this roughly the same number of, of plants and animals, and um, it stays stable, kind of like homeostasis in, in an organism, except in an ecosystem. This self-sustaining, stable ecosystem requires some things to stay that way. Just like we need things for homeostasis, the ecosystem needs things. So um, if you look at this picture, this is pretty cool. This is a sealed bottle. Nothing can go in or out. Um, it contains snails and plants and water and some rocks and some other things in there um, and a little bit of air. And this is a self-sustaining ecosystem. It will continue. The snails and the plants can just go on forever. This, this um, was taken, I think they had this going for about a year when this picture was taken, all sealed up. It's self-sustaining. Now, what did it need to be self-sustaining? Well, first of all, you can see there's plants in there. So you can automatically um, think of something that plants need that has to be um, in this ecosystem, and that is sunlight, right? There has to be sunlight, a source of energy. There must be um, a constant source of energy. The ecosystem, all the organisms that live in it will not be able to continue if energy isn't constantly put in because organisms use energy. So it doesn't get recycled. It's used up. Um, it's also released as heat. Like energy is not going to cycle. It's, it's taken in and it's used up. So you need a constant supply. And he, here on earth, we have the sun. So that's a great source of energy for ecosystems. Um, <clears throat> next, you need an organism that can use the sunlight energy and that's plants or other photosynthetic organisms. Um, we have a lot of one-celled organisms that can do photosynthesis and we have plants, but whatever it is, those organisms that have chlorophyll can trap sunlight energy and use it to produce organic compounds, sugars, um, by photosynthesis, right? Um, but of course, that's not all that our plant needs. Our plant needs the sunlight as energy, but there's also some compounds that it's going to need. If you recall, photosynthesis requires carbon dioxide and water. So our self-sustaining ecosystem has to have some compounds that cycle. So the carbon dioxide and the water come in to the plant, right? It does photosynthesis with the sunlight energy, makes sugar and oxygen. Those go, um, well, plant can use the sugar, break it down by respiration, release carbon dioxide, or um, another organism can eat it and eat the sugar and it can break it down by respiration. But that sugar is gonna be broken down into carbon dioxide um, and water eventually. And if you think about it, the carbon dioxide and water goes into the plant and uh, comes out as sugar and oxygen, and the sugar and oxygen goes into an organism and comes out as carbon dioxide and water. Cycling of those atoms, those same atoms are going around and around and around. So as long as you have material that can cycle and organisms that can cycle it, and you have a constant source of energy and organisms that can use that energy, you're gonna have a self-sustaining ecosystem. So you need organisms that can use the energy and the energy has to constantly be put in because it gets used up. And you need materials that can cycle back and forth. And in this case, in our bottle, we have the sunlight energy. There's a constant source because it's pouring in. And we have plants. They're the organism that can use the energy. Um, and we have materials that can cycle between the water and the air and the plant and the snail. Um, and so you can have something like this last for a year. Self-sustaining ecosystems can be of all varieties. As long as you have a constant source of energy, plants or some photosynthetic organism that can use that energy, 
and other organisms that can cycle materials back and forth with them, um, you are going to have a self-sustaining ecosystem. And they can be of all varieties. You can have grasslands and you can have marine ecosystems. That's a kelp forest. You can have woodlands, right? But in every case, you've got sun, you've got plants that can use that sunlight energy and you have materials that can cycle around. I wanna just focus on one in particular because this one may make you think about it for a moment. That doesn't look like a self-sustaining ecosystem at all. What's missing? an organism that can use sunlight energy. There may be a constant source of energy, although it gets very limited in the winter, but there is energy that comes to this ecosystem in the form of sunlight, but where's the organisms that can use it? This doesn't look self-sustaining at all. It turns out it is. They've been, this, these ecosystems have been going for a long time. Why? Well, we look, oops, we look underneath turns out there's all sorts of stuff down there that's using sunlight. The sunlight comes through the water and the ice and comes down and you've got plant-like organisms in the water that can use that energy. And those materials in the water and um, the air around um, that dissolves, the oxygen that dissolves, the carbon dioxide that dissolves in the water gets used by these plants. And so they can cycle the materials. And then you have other organisms that eat the plants and then you have the polar bear that can eat the organisms that eat the organisms that eat the plants. And so you do have a self-sustaining ecosystem. It's just that you couldn't see it because it's under the ice. Every single ecosystem to be self-sustaining must have a constant source of energy. It must have organisms that can use that energy and materials that cycle around in the ecosystem. And that is what it takes